hi and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now to continue on with this week's theme of Italian meals, I've got another great little recipe for you today. And of course, if you haven't seen the first one of the week, you know what to do, bam, click right up there and watch it. Now today's recipe is spaghetti bolognese. It was one of my family favorites and I'm sure it's probably one of yours. Now as I've said, these are by no means the traditional way of making them. These are the way I like to make them. So let's get started. First up, into a pan with some olive oil, we're going to add in the garlic, the onion, and the celery. Give them a stir and then we're going to cook those for about 4-5 to five minutes until they become tender. Once they've softened up nicely, we're going to add in the pork mince and the beef mince. Now I'm adding the two kinds of mince because I think it gives a real depth to the flavour, but of course you can just use beef if you prefer. Give it a good mix together, then add in some pepper and some salt, mix well, and then we're going to simply cook that until the meat is brown. Once that mince has browned off, we're going to add in some fresh tomatoes, the carrot, the bay leaves, and the tin tomatoes. Then we're going to add in the tomato paste, give it a quick mix, then add in the mushrooms. Next we're going to add in the wine. I'm using white but of course you can use red. I just think it gives a nicer flavour. Then add in the oregano and the chives. Then the Worcestershire sauce and give it one final mix. Well now that that's done we're going to turn that temperature right down to low, pop a lid on it, we're going to let that bubble away for about 45 minutes to an hour. Once that bolognese is almost done, it's time to cook up our spaghetti. Then it's time to plate up. Add some fresh parsley, some cracked pepper, and a sprinkling of parmesan cheese. And your spaghetti bolognese is ready to eat. Ah, bellissimo. That really is one of my family favourites. Now that will feed an absolute army. Now of course if you don't have an army or a large family, all you need to do is section that up, pop it in the freezer, and all you need to do is defrost it and your dinner is done. So I really hope you enjoyed that recipe and you give it a go. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time on Cooking with Karma.